In today's Tech Tip video, I'll be showing you how to create a new tool crib or subset of tools inside Camworks and SolidWorks Cam. Right now, I'm inside of the technology database, and from the landing page, I can see that all of my tool cribs are on the right-hand side. If you're not on the landing page, you can navigate here by clicking the mill button on the left-hand side. So the first consideration I need to make is, do I wanna create an imperial tool crib or do I wanna create a metric tool crib? Um, I wanna create an imperial tool crib, so I need to make sure that I have inches version of the technology database selected from the top right corner. Uh, now I can see three tool cribs that come out of the box. So the first one is empty with the idea that you would use this to create your first tool crib. Tool crib two has a bunch of tools in it. And if we click on each tool, we can see um, the ID of that tool on the right hand side and the ID of the holder associated with that tool. And the third tool crib is an assemblies tool crib. Um, so this assemblies tool crib is especially useful if your facility has a formal system for tracking tool and holder combinations. Um, so essentially you could have the same tool and holder be assembled at multiple different protrusion lengths. Um, and each combination is uniquely identified by that combination ID or combination number. Um, so if we click on mill tooling from the left hand side, we can see here that there is an assemblies area. So the assembly tools here, um, we can of course add more into this database list um, just to show you that each assembly tool has its own protrusion length identified. So I'm gonna click back on mill to return to my tool crib and we'll click on the first tool crib. Now I see four buttons on top here. This first button, new, will create subsequent new tool cribs, and we can have an unlimited number of tool cribs in the database. The second button is going to copy whatever active tool crib I'm in. The third will edit the parameters of that tool crib. For example, the tool crib name, the number of stations, and whether or not we want to define the tools using tool assemblies. And the last button is delete. So if I click this, it will delete the active tool crib that I'm in. Since it's empty, we need to add some tools. So from the add button on the right hand side, I simply am going to select the type of tool that I want to add in. So we'll start with flat end mill. It opens up to this intermediary window where we can see all of the flat end mills that exist right now inside of mill imperial tooling. Um, and the idea here is that I simply find the tool that is closest to the description of the tool I have in my facility and then I can select that and I can edit the parameters of that tool if I need to and then click add to add it into my tool crib or cl click select. Um, just a quick note to say that if you wanted to preserve the default values of all of these tools, then what you could do is you could copy the tool that you need to add in by selecting it from the list and selecting copy it creates a copy with its own unique tool ID at the very bottom of the list. And then we can edit all of these parameters to suit our individual tools needs um, without editing the original tool entry. We can select that tool. So now it gets added into our tool crib. Right now it has no station number assigned to it. So station number says zero. Um, this would be the tool number and I would want to populate this with a tool number. Any changes I make now to these parameters, I'll have to click Save to retain. Um, so now I have three IDs. I have the tool ID, 209. I have the holder ID, and the default holder that gets selected is holder one for each tool that you add in. Um, I could change that if I wanted to by clicking the Select Holder button. And then it populates a list of all the different holders, and then I just would select from the list and then press select at the top left. The third ID associated with this tool is 47. So every time I add a tool into one of my tool cribs, it also gets a unique ID added to it. So now I can continue populating my list.
Now, sometimes I'm asked if I can add both metric and imperial tools to my tool crib. The answer is yes and no. So we can add in metric tools to an imperial tool crib by essentially adding in a metric tool ID. Um, so you can see here when I go to add in a new drill bit that some of these drill bits are identified as imperial drill bits such as the 364 or metric such as the 1.2 millimeter CNC drill. So in both instances the values for the tool are defined in imperial um, but the difference here is that the tool has a, a metric tool ID. Uh, so this is one way that you could bring in metric tools, but you would have to do the conversion to make sure that all of your values are in Imperial. Once I finish populating my tool crib, it's going to be available for use in Camworks right away. So I can exit the TechDB. And then the next time I go to program a part from inside of the machine definition, um, if I click on my tool crib tab, I should see my new tool crib and be able to select that and populate it. Now, if I need to make any changes to these tools from here on out, I can do so from inside Camworks or I can do so from in the technology database. Um, so from inside Camworks, I could edit any tool in this list, select edit tool, make any of the necessary changes to either the tool, the holder or the station number. And then what I would have to do is just select Save Tool Crib to push those changes back to the technology database. Um, alternatively, I could make these edits as well inside of the TechDB. So if I go back to my Tool Crib um, and select any tool in my list, all I have to do is from the right hand side, beside Tool ID, click that Select Tool button. It will open up the tool parameters. I can make any changes that I need to, press save, and then they'll be retained for my tool inside of my tool crib. If I wanted to associate this tool crib with a specific machine, I could do so from going into the machine definition. So let's say the mill inch. And then underneath the tool crib section, so under turret, um, there is a tool crib here that I can identify with this machine. So let's say I want my first tool crib. I would just select that from the drop down and then press save. And now every time I load my mill inch machine, then my tool crib one will automatically be loaded as well. Thank you so much for watching this tech tip. I hope it was helpful and stay tuned for more coming your way.